Hello, I've always been passionate about voicing my thoughts. I was only in third grade, yes, third grade, when diaries and my foes thought I became my best friend. It sounds sad, but trust me, without that, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't be standing here. I believe that poetry shouldn't be viewed as perplexing and abstruse. The way that you interpret a poem, it depends on how you view the world as a whole. And I believe everyone views the world differently. Am I wrong? And so, you can have your own point of view and that's completely okay. Okay, anxiety, the body's natural response to stress. It's a real and valid mental illness. It is much more than what we perceive. So I really, I really hope that I can draw a vivid image in your mind so that you can see mine. And for today, I'll be reciting an original piece titled Anxiety. Crawling down the streets of New York, there is nothing to grab and footsteps are hard to count. The season, it seems to be summer, my fingertips are stuck in the cracks of the walkway in the alley of downtown and this noise, my ears are going to explode. I can't read what's on my mind. The views are making me go insane. There goes another man rolling down the walls, intoxicated, and a single lady with heels and hands and fears in mind. It's only 2 p.m. There's no more nails to nibble on and hairs to tug on. Or only if I had a wall to linger on with the sensation of huts enclosing me. But I am stuck in the middle, trembling. I am, I am stuck in the middle, trembling. Tug on my shirt, my lungs. Please, please go up in air. Crawled up in the middle of the street. It seems like I'm an exhibit. It feels like daggers on my skin. From where? From where did these giants arrive? They're swallowing me, whole, leaving nothing to hide. If, if only, if only this was a nightmare, one that I can wake up from. Would I have healed? Or would I have been the same? Nonetheless, moments will pass and I'll be okay. I, I will be okay. I, I have to be okay. I, I will, I, I will, I will be okay. Thank you for listening to me.